Hello, we are from Ukraine. Hello again, my friends. Uh, today is 15 March and uh, we have a 20 day of the war uh, with Russia and uh, I try to explain you some moments what uh, happened now. As you know, nobody think about Ukraine can stand so long time in this war. Yes, it's really difficult. And many leaders uh, of uh, the European countries think Ukraine can't uh, stay so long time. But we have 20 days and what uh, situation uh, we have now? Uh, Russia attack from the different direction to Kyiv, Sumy, Kharkiv, uh, in Donbass area and from Crimea. And the big result they have in uh, Crimea a part of the front, they occupied Kherson and they uh, captured uh, Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, the largest in Europe. Uh, but uh, not far from Kherson is city Nikolaev and 20 days Russian can't capture it Nikolaev. It's a city with population about maybe 300,000 uh, inhabitants. Uh, what about Kyiv? Maybe you know it everywhere in the news, so you can see the information about Russian troops that's not far from Kyiv, really. They try to attack Kyiv uh, from the uh, north part, from the west north and from the east part. But uh, Kyiv is a big city with population before the war about 5 million with uh, the smallest uh, small city around so it's really difficult and Russia attack was stopped uh, in Kharkiv now is the battle around the city what we see now all the day is battle artillery battle around the city I live in the east part of Kharkiv and uh, from early morning and now we all the time hear uh, some artillery shooting around. Uh, time to time Russian attack uh, have success but uh, Ukrainian army stay strong and uh, try to stop Russian army. You know, Russian army is really strong, maybe number three in the world, but who know? And uh, for this moment was uh, they lost about uh, 400 tanks. Maybe even Germany army don't have uh, so much tanks. About uh, almost uh, 100 of helicopter and maybe today we have the first 100 uh, of destroyed Russian helicopter and about 95 airplane. Yeah, Ukraine don't have so strong aviation and um, the sky is a big problem. About situation in Kharkiv, we have a uh, heating at my home, uh, water, electricity. Today, uh, maybe a second time from this war was uh, put out the trash because two weeks the trash the trash boxes stay in the our yard and uh, it's a really big problem we don't have hot water because we need to reduce to spending natural gas it's a big problem because um, big part of the gas we imported and uh, it's very expensive but economic work not uh, for 100 percent and uh, we reduced to uh, spend the gas. In the city open some supermarket markets and people can go in to buy something but now if it's feel uh, people already don't have enough money to buy and a lot of people stay in the line uh, to take the humanitarian help some food and even my mom today in the morning going to stay in line 
I tell she uh, we have enough money, my friend support, thank my friend and um, now we have enough money, we don't need to stay in line, we can buy what we need. But uh, many people told about they take a lot of humanitarian help uh, many times and my mother run to go. I will show you what she take it. But she waiting eight about from eight hour to uh, two p.m. She stay in the line eight uh, about um, six hour um, to take this help. It's not a good. It's really not a good. And uh, I tell to my mother, don't did it any time. Uh, this system work does not well. A lot of people stay uh, on the street waiting in the line during artillery um, attack. It's incredible and people stay and don't react from what happened. Different uh, attack not far from here and people stay because they will to take uh, humanitarian help. It's a crazy situation but uh, people need to take some food now it's uh, become a problem in the city uh, people who have uh, some help from the government by card they already take it but if people work with cash and waiting cash from the government it's a problem because the banks uh, does not work and the post offices does not work so people need to wait when situation become um, a, a bit better uh, we try to work with red cross and uh, red cross uh, try to help people with some medicine some uh, tablets uh, pillows but uh, it still don't work well because uh, the best solution people have this help personally don't stay in the line because you understand uh, during uh, artillery attack 500 people stay in small place on the line if uh, something shooting it's uh, there are three four hundred died people it's uh, really dangerous but now uh, this question um, is still important. So uh, I try to show you what my mother take humanitarian help. I tell she don't need going uh, to the slime, and I hope she don't like to do it after this day. For this humanitarian help, my mom stay at line about six hours. It's incredible. I told uh, my mom it does not need. We have all what we need. We have money. We can go into supermarket, but she anywhere going to the line. I hope she don't did it again. I hope. Um, I try uh, to make some film um, and uh, tell you what we happen. So now we 20 days of the war. And this time going very fast because uh, each day is same. We can't uh, to go far from uh, our home, just in our area, and even don't know what happened in uh, uh, near uh, area from our home. Uh, for uh, this moment, uh, the line, uh, the front line is about uh, two two and a half kilometer from our home and this moment is quiet but all this day was uh, artillery uh, battles around so uh, have a nice day we stay strong uh, try to see you next time Vitali.